So when companies decide to come into a different aspect of content creation and release products and they're bringing over their brand name and stuff like that because they've been in the industry of content creation, they just, you know, been in a different, I would say, portion or side of content creation and making products. And like I said, they try to come over to different aspects and branch out. Um, a lot of things happen. And this is going to be kind of weird of me talking about this. So Joby, please, please, please just give me a second or wherever and pretty much understand where I'm coming from when I say this stuff. It's all love. But I need to go ahead and tell you guys about this product. I'm going to let you know that there's a video that's going to be released later today. That's going to go more in depth. It's like 30 something minutes long, almost 40 something minutes long because it's like very barely edited. But I wanted to kind of give my own thoughts and opinions in a more concise, condensed manner. Joby sent out this, I would say, streaming uh, for or for streamers, voiceovers and stuff like that kind of package. Um, it's a microphone and a microphone boom arm. Both of them cost $99 um, separately. So you're paying $200 for this. And I am telling you straight up that uh, you're paying pretty much for a brand they're again they're a good established brand they have really good products um inside the, like the camera realm as far as gorilla pods tripods all that stuff for cameras and everything and now they're trying to come over to the streaming realm and making stuff for other types of content creators so they're bringing their name over pretty much and people who are inside the realm of content creation as far as doing streaming and gaming and all that stuff, they're not gonna know who Joby is or anything like that. They're just gonna see the prices of this stuff and be like, I am not paying that much for the individual items, whatever, because for a $99 condenser or cardioid microphone that doesn't even have software for USB, it doesn't have an XLR jack or anything like that, it's just and, and it kind of looks like the blue yeti and it's 2024 and you have this bright red pop filter on it there's no color options um the dial does not allow you to uh see your gain or anything like that with the light indicator um it just constantly spins regardless if you're lowering the volume or making the volume higher there is a uh pattern I guess different patterns, but all you have is a cardioid and an omnidirectional. Why we're we using omnidirectional in 2024, I have no idea. Most people are going to have another separate microphone for somebody else. They're not going to use something omnidirectional. We all know this as content creators and streamers, but the problem is, is that people say that these microphones sound more natural versus dynamic microphones sound fake or whatever. But as a streamer and a content creator who's doing voiceovers and stuff like that, you're going to want to re reject as much room noise as you can. And that's why people get the Shure SM7B or dynamic microphones, period. Because these microphones are a pain in the hassle. Trust me, I've tried to do it for years, streaming and doing content creation since 2015 and working with companies and doing a lot of microphones for two years. And alone, I'm telling you, the non-dynamic microphones are the hardest ones to EQ regardless on how good they sound. Um, so again, you have that button down there to do that and you know you have a yoke and everything it looks very plasticky or wherever the meddling and everything the microphone feels good it's not a knock to the the i would say the creation the overall build quality of the microphone it's just very plasticky um other than that the low latency monitoring is as soon as i talk i'm hearing it in my headphones which is really really good um the cable that comes with there's two cables that come with the microphone to connect to your pc whether type c or just regular uh usb type a um they're super long so cable managing and stuff like that is really really good surprising there's two different cables but still um it's really really good i imagine this is more for hooking up to a laptop doing business meetings or wherever on the fly or something like that maybe quick voiceover work on your laptop that after you recorded a video on your camera stuff like that because maybe you're not only a streamer but you do other things um so that's what this microphone is for but even in that aspect i still would want a dynamic microphone because i don't want whatever audience that I'm streaming to recording a video for or whatever when I'm out and about traveling doing whatever because again that's what it feels like this is kind of like in between you know those kind of content creators who are on the go and sitting at home and recording I'm still going to want a dynamic microphone I don't want to be out and about having birds chirping and all that stuff all that stuff being picked up in my audio recording you know what I'm saying or live streaming you know I'm, I'm gonna want to block out as much um audio as I uh, that audio as I can and I feel like I would be more on board with this microphone if it was a dynamic microphone but that's 
kind of like a personal preference kind of thing. Um, again, at $99, there's other microphones out there that are around like $80. The one that I recently covered was from Mayono. It has USB type C and XLR connections. And on top of that, it comes with the USB type C connection it comes with software that allows you to have VSTs, plugins, all that stuff, wherever to make the microphone sound better. And on top of that, it's a dynamic microphone. Again, for $80, I would recommend that microphone over this just because of how much it's bringing to the table, whereas this is just not really bringing that much to the table other than it sounds really good. Again, hopefully they're taking what I say wherever and really taking notes. So when they make another iteration of this or they make products in the future, they know what they should be looking for as far as making um, changes and stuff. I think that this microphone boom arm should be around $60 and I think it would be a great price point uh, for this microphone boom arm. I would suggest getting this microphone boom arm for $60. Um, it would be my recommendation for a traditional scissor microphone boom arm. At $99, I cannot recommend this microphone or this microphone boom arm. Um, both of these products should be around 60 bucks. Um, the microphone boom arm does have this unique thing. We've seen it sometimes with the bases of microphone boom arms nowadays. It has a cup holder. It has a headphone, a jack holder, or wherever to hold your headphones. Um, it holds this glitch energy drink bottle wherever that's kind of big or wherever pretty pretty good then there's still some wiggle room between or wherever code squid for 20 percent off if you're interested uh, there's always a link in the description um but yeah it holds it really really well the only thing about it is the base is built a little bit in my opinion too well and i know that doesn't make any sense but let me explain if you're having one of those cheap amazon desks or wherever the particle board desk or wherever not real wood like i have for both my desks um it might over time, depending on what how heavy your cups are and what you're putting in there and just how heavy the base and build quality of the base is, it might break your particle board break, uh, desk or stuff from Ikea or stuff like that. There's very, very cheap uh, cardboard, almost fake wood, you know, desk. Those are probably going to break, uh, I would say, a little bit after using this thing for months and months just because of how much um, metal and just hefty this base is, which is a really good thing. It's not Joey's fault. It's just... Like I said, a lot of content creators who get into the space, they get a lot of cheap items. So if they were to get an item that's this quality, it, sometimes it just doesn't mix and they would just see, they would just hear a loud clang and they will see a hole ripped out of their desk because they decided to get a bad desk and that's on them, that's not on Joby. That's how good this microphone boom arm is. The problem is, is that there's no microphone boom arm out there that you can justify having at $99 no microphone boom arm because it's just holding your microphone i don't care all the gimmicky attachments and stuff people want to do rgb lighting on it and everything there's no microphone boom arm out there that should cost 100 bucks microphone boom arms should not be going over 60 bucks i would say tablet attachments camera attachments because this can hold a camera and obviously some of them out there the microphone boom arms that come out they have you know the aspect of holding a tablet or a phone as well um doesn't matter how many accessories and stuff you try to to add to it no microphone boom arm should be over 60 bucks it's literally just holding your microphone again even for somebody where this combination is a drop in a bucket because again obviously this is 99 dollars. the microphone is 99 dollars. that means 200 dollars for this whole combo it's a drop in a bucket for me i could spend my money on this it, it doesn't it's not going to phase me but i wouldn't because it would just it wouldn't be a smart uh i would say choice for my money if you were charging a hundred and like a hundred dollars or a hundred and like forty or fifty dollars for this combo together then maybe but two hundred dollars for this combo it's mm, i don't know the microphone boom arm is sleek it looks pristine it looks nice or wherever we don't have these red accents or wherever you have the the choice to take the channel off and put a red one on that's why i think the front of this microphone should have came with a black option to put on top um to make it look better because again it's not early 20 uh 2000s or 2010s so this red and black aesthetic that's too old now get rid of it um i know it's your color scheme but still you know you're trying to appeal to an audience uh, people, there's too many people that I know personally who, like, who have told me personally, hundreds of content creators, that they won't buy a product because of its color or accent color that they have on the product, regardless if they really like the product or not. And this is in comment sections of my YouTube videos, as well as, again, I'm, I've been doing streaming and content creation since like 2015. I know over a hundred something content creators and they have told me over the years, they will not purchase something because of accent pieces like this. 
It's not mean, don't kill the messenger. But yeah, this microphone boom arm, I'm actually impressed with it. Uh, the outer shell is plastic, the more metal is obviously inside, but it looks good, it looks good on camera. It it's just like the microphone looks good on camera. Um, so this is something I would recommend to somebody doing a podcast, you know, at home or something like that. Um, I could see it there. Uh, there's nothing really too much to write about other than, you know, not really having the springiness up here. So if you're adjusting like this, like most people do with these types of microphones from here, you're not going to get that into your microphone, regardless if you're using this type of microphone or anything else. But if you start touching back here, that's when you notice you know the springs and the the most giving and stuff like that you can probably see the plastic shell moving um so again overall decent microphone boom arm not 99 dollars though so i'm gonna go ahead and end the video with an audio test in comparison with this microphone uh with vsts and non vsts and then again if you want a more detailed first look or wherever kind of aspect there will be a video later on today this is the way the microphone sounds uh with no eq I don't have anything uh, turned on or wherever. As you can see down there, there's a fan going on. It is on level four. This is going to be, I guess, ambient room temperature. Um, I have the microphone pulled up into, uh, I would say Elgato Wavelink. It's set to about 80% as far as the input volume on the audio source. Um, there's no way really, again, for me to tell you guys where my gain is on the microphone because I don't have any there's nothing that tells me how loud I just kind of turned it up to I guess this point that you're hearing right now but as you can hear the microphone does sound good I think for a Cartier microphone do I still think it's worth $99 no I think the ca capsule I think the microphone overall sounds good it's just when you have competitors out there that have a lot more added to the package the overall package of it or whatever it's 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 hard to sit there and say it regardless on how good the microphone sounds you know what i'm saying it's not like how the sure sm7b it sounds that good you know what i'm saying that regardless somebody's gonna be like yeah it sounds really good some people might be like i'm not paying that much money for it because it just sounds good and that's it when you look at other microphones out there like i said um that have you know maybe a combo pack of a microphone boom arm you know a good sounding microphone a good uh xlr you know mixer and stuff like that for the same price as the as some 7b people might be more inclined to buy that nowadays you know what i'm saying no the days of getting a product just because it's it's good or wherever and as far as like for streamers gamers and and those types of content creators those kind of days for those guys are gone you know what I'm saying people are more looking for decent products that have good uh value at a cheaper price because like i said more and more people nowadays are content creators everybody can be a content creator so that means people of all walks of life all types of budgets so when people look at me and be like how much should i pay for this product that you're telling me about you're telling me that this combo is going to be 200 dollars, and there's no software that comes with the microphone and, and it's just a microphone boom arm like why am i spending this much money I can't convey that to my audience, you know what I'm saying? That I can't adjust, justify. I might know that you're a reputable company, like I know Joby is. I know they make really good products or wherever, but the microphone doesn't come with software. I'm gonna turn on the VSTs now. The microphone doesn't come with software or wherever. This is the way it sounds when I EQ the microphone. All I did was add a uh, background removal, a noise gate, um, a de -er, which I think this thing really does need a de -er, um to get rid of the S's and the T's and stuff like that and just a generalized you know little curve of a of an eq it's kind of hard because like i said i don't want joby i don't want these companies not to uh stay within the content creation space as far as branching out and going into stuff for streamers and everything i think what they got here wherever it's a really good sounding microphone and you know a really good microphone boom arm it's just like i said you have to realize that just because you're an established company and another aspect or another, uh, I would say, business within an industry does not mean you can come over to another aspect of that same industry. And because you're known in other, you know, like I said, facets, come over here and charge the prices that you would charge for your other products. And that's what I see a lot of companies do when they come over. And that's kind of off putting to content creators who are you know streamers gamers and stuff like that and they're like why would i just not stay with the likes of uh, companies like elgato 
or you know other companies out there who have gotten complacent because they know that hey we got here before all these other companies and now all these other companies are trying to mess, uh, muscle in into our territory we already have this on lock and we have all these features and these ecosystems and all that stuff or wherever so we're already established over here so we can sit here and still charge a hundred dollars or wherever because they know that when those companies that are you know are more recognizable and another aspect when they come over they're going to bring their brand name over right so they know companies like joby when they come over and drop a microphone boom arm or microphone they know those companies are gonna be like yeah we can charge a hundred dollars for this and a content creator who knows about elgato or other companies out there they're gonna be like at a hundred dollars or wherever for a cardioid uh usb type c microphone i could get the wavelink uh software with the wave one away three and have what i'm doing right now with vsts and plugins or wherever for the same around the same price for this microphone if not a little bit more than this microphone i can have that which one's going to be more advantageous for a streamer or a content creator obviously the wave microphones you see what i'm saying well it's kind of ranty but you get the the sound of this microphone you see what i'm talking about or wherever again joby hopefully this does not dissuade you or discourage you from you know staying within this space because again i love the products that you do you do have here hopefully in the future when you make uh newer products you still reach out to me so we can work together or wherever but um even if you don't i think these products are really good right here but i think that you kind of should take my advice and lower the prices on these two um that's just uh, insider's opinion from again working from 2015 on um, streaming and doing content creation and working with multiple different types of microphones and boom arms and gear and stuff like that and having a lot come through the door within the two years of me doing product reviews knowing hundreds of content creators on multiple different types of platforms and multiple different types of content from podcasts to creating videos to streaming and stuff having people ask me literally on the daily in my dms questions about what they should get and everything like that these two items are just overpriced. I'm just being honest, they're overpriced. They're really good products from a really good, well-known company, but they need to be, the prices need to be lowered because nobody's really gonna buy these at these price points when you have competitors out there already in the, I would say the category of what you're trying to step into. Um, with that being said though, y'all take care. Have a squid tacit day. God bless you and yours. Watch the regular video later today. Deuces everybody, much love.